Hi everybody, today I have the Periami MB09 Pro. This is a media player with 160 gigabytes. That's 32 gigabytes internal plus a supplied 128 gigabyte TF card. If you are out there thinking 160 gigabytes just isn't enough for me, well, you're in luck because this does support a 256 gigabyte TF card for a whopping 288 gig. One thing I did find unusual is check out the model number, M507, what happened to MB09 Pro? And to top that off, plug this into your PC and it says it's a DL Fox F8. What? The MB09 Pro runs Android 13. I am not saying that's a problem. I didn't run into any problems, but at the time of this recording, it is about 18 months old. This is a pure Android device, no bloatware here. In fact, there's so little installed, you will probably want to hit the Play Store right away to make this more useful. As it is out of the box, the only thing you can really do with it is play FM radio. Periami includes almost everything you need to enjoy your MB09 Pro, including this USB-C cable. One of these guys to pop out your TF card. This handy manual that you will probably never look at if you've ever used an Android device in your life. And the MB09 device itself with factory installed screen protectors front and back and a nice silicone case. The only thing you need to supply are headphones. I don't hold that against them at all. I have seen far too many bundled headphones that are not good. I would much rather supply my own and not pay extra for something I will be throwing away anyway. The MB09 Pro comes with a 1900 milliamp hour battery, which they say will give you 10 hours of continuous music playback or five hours of video. I think that's okay. It's not super great, but it's, probably good enough. There's a 5 megapixel front camera and a 13 megapixel rear camera. I don't know if people will be taking photos with this device, but you can. In a world of Android media players, it is difficult to differentiate yourself from the competition. But I have seen so many poor implementations, it is nice when you come across one that performs well. And the MB09 Pro had no problems with HD video, with audio stuttering or caching. I had no problems with the FM radio. The Bluetooth support was great. It supports every standard that I know about. If you're looking for an Android-based media player, this is a good one to consider. My only concern with the MB09 Pro is the LCD screen. It has a definite sweet spot. So if your primary use is video playback or you are often in a sunny environment, you might want to consider a different device. Personally, I'm a fan of dedicated music players with physical buttons, but if you are happy and comfortable with the Android touchscreen experience, you want music playback and video playback and games and applications, then the MB09 Pro might be exactly what you're looking for. Given the LCD panel, I cannot give this device more than a four out of five star rating. However, I have seen so many terrible Android players that this is a strong four out of five. Thanks for stopping by.